Jeremy Klein with you from Outdoors NV and Maritime Outdoors. Today we're going to look at the Old Town Sportsman Big Water 132 PDL with rudder. First thing we're going to do is finish unpacking this big fella and uh, we'll get it ready for the summer. Thing. When you unpack your sportsman, it's going to have that great sportsman seat. Uh, so this is the same seat, uh, or very similar seat as what came on the Predator, because this is just a new iteration of the Predator kayak. Then you're going to have your PDL drive, which is secured with a piece of wood. Okay, that's off. We'll take these two little screws, if you can see them here. Take them off. Our seat. I'll just put it all down here. Disconnect our PDL drive. With sportsman models, there's two different sportsman model of the canoe, the solo. One comes with a tackle box, the other doesn't. So in with this guy, also being a sportsman model, it does come with a little tackle box, and in that is the uh, locking mechanism for our rudder plus the knob for the rudder and then our paddle holder as well. So all that gets installed right now as well if, we, if we're going to be setting this up to use. We will be renting these as well as using them ourselves this summer. Got two of them, so I've got to set both of them up today. And we will install the knob for the rudder mechanism. This is our locking mechanism that's going to go in here. I don't want to turn that right now because my rudder's still all taped and connected up. That's got thread locker on it because we don't want that coming apart while we're on the water. We secure the bottom piece. We're going to install the paddle clip. So we're going to install our paddle clip here. This is what it looks like. You can set it up so that your strap opens downward or opens upward. Uh, I'm probably going to do it so it opens upward, I believe. So it's going to look like, let's see here, be like this. There's two little two little tabs in the back. We will set them in the holes on the back of this, like so. And then that's gonna get screwed in, into here. So I will screw that in right now. Okay, so actually let's take the rudder, and get it all set up as well. So I'm just disconnecting our pot here. Unfolding it, getting the uh, tires on now. There. Put our seat sliders in now. All right, so we'll go over all of the attributes of this boat. Starting at the front, molded in carry handle, which is awesome. We have access into the front of the hull here with a hatch with a gasket on it. Here's our gasket. Inside of this is a battery box which can hold up to, I think about a, a they say in the manual, but I'm going to say 20 amp hour, it might only be 10, but it's a zip open box with a hole to the side of it so you can put your wiring out. Then I believe these things, if you so desire, you can do through hull here 
or you can bring that in and over if you wanted. But I would go through hull underneath of this, and if I was going to mount uh, my fish finder on that. This is our PDL drive uh, hole or bracket that allows us to slide to rotate the PDL drive up into an unlocked position or up into a stored position or down into the hull to be used for propulsion. We have removable accessory plates here. The new version, the sportsman version, they're machined to accept normal, like low profile track attachments like the Yak Attack, uh, Scotty, those sort of things. We have our bracket for our drive for the stowed and the propulsion uh, locations. We have, uh, I think it's, uh, I forget what it's called, EPDA foam, foam for your standing platform anyway. Storage pockets, which I do believe, I could be wrong, but I think those fit down in there. No, they don't. I thought they did. But you can, you can buy smaller tackle boxes that will fit down in there. Uh, we also have the other accessory plate on the left-hand side. Carry handles, midships, left and right, port and starboard, cup holders, scuppers forward, scuppers in the tank well. Little opening here. We could go down through with your transducer through the opening on that, if you so desire. Moving back, flush mount rod holder to the right of the seat. Flush mount rod holders behind the seat on the left and the right. Your rudder deployment handle here, and this is your rudder control knob over here. Behind the seat we have two more accessory plates that are removable, that have been pre-drilled out. There is a location here if you want to put a hatch in to access in through the stern. The newer models also come uh, pre-set up if you want to put a shallow water uh, anchor mount like the power pole which we we have on our sportsman uh, autopilot 136 you can mount that there i'm not sure how that works with the rudder i'm pretty sure it's harder with that with that in with that installed your your stowed location straight up i think if memory serves me like that but that is a location for that shallow water anchor we have another molded in handle underneath on the stern here, your rudder, yoke, and assembly. Under the seat we have access into the hull, and this is where, if I was to put electronics, this is where I would put my 50 amp hour batteries down in here. This hull, what makes this different than the uh, the Sportsman 10 series and the Sportsman 12 series, is it's more of a V hull instead of a catamaran like on those Sportsman. So you can see on the bottom of this Sportsman, the hull shape is very conducive to initial stability or stability in flat water. It's gonna allow me to stand from that all day, no problem. But with the big water, I have more control and again which I'm going if I'm going on the Bay of Funday or into open water I want more control I want to be able to when things get messy I want to have control and I want to be able to edge my boat what that allows us to do is have more control over the rolling of the kayak if I'm in larger more open water this is more desirable than a a more stable platform and when I say stable I mean initially stable on flat water, which is what those sportsmen are. This gives me control. When something is super stable in flat water, that means I have no control when things get dynamic, when the waves get higher and higher. And what happens is, if that wave gets to a point where it's gonna overcome the center of gravity of me and the kayak, I have no control because it's not designed for me to be able to tip it. If I am able to tip it, I can tip it into the wave and kind of counteract that angle a little bit and we call that edging 
and that is important when you get into dynamic water and it's at that point that you want to have your paddle out you're going to use that for bracing some people buy outriggers they're not going to have they're not going to help you when things get super dynamic because it does not an outrigger doesn't allow you let's say the wave's coming this way an outrigger will not allow me to edge into that wave and if i can edge into that wave and use my paddle as a brace I can then be side surfed by the wave instead of being capsized by the wave right so that's important and that's why this is called the big water because it allows for a little bit of that so that's kind of the 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 kind of setup that you would want to buy this for the the area if you're paddling in more open water where the wind we call it fetch where the wind can blow further unabated by objects or land or trees or anything like that to make larger waves i'd want to go big water instead of sportsman if i'm in more sheltered water where it's going to be flat the sportsman 10 and, and 12 are going to give me that super stability to give me enough confidence that i can stand and cast all day i can still stand and cast with this i've just got to be mindful that it will give a little bit on that rotation side to side it's going to feel a little bit tippier in flat water but it gives me more control when i need it in more dynamic water so yeah and, and the differences i guess between this and the uh, the 10 and the 12 and the 136 as well this has the plates they have the rails which i'll go show you those in a second plates on the big water it's the old predator and on the autopilot, we have rails. Now, I've upgraded my rails to aluminum, uh, Pacific Yak Angler rails. This is what they look like when they come from the factory. Uh, they're uh, plastic, hard plastic, and of course, I've added rails uh, to it as well for some stuff that I'm doing with this. But, rails on the 10, the 12, and the 136, and then on the Big Water 132 is, is our plates. Now the big water comes in three color patterns. I have selected this one being what's called marsh camo because I'm going to use this for duck hunting and it will allow me with the, the pedal drive, it's gonna allow me to jump shoot far more effectively because I can have both hands free. I can lock this rudder tiller in place uh, straight ahead if I want or if I want to do circles or something but what I found with my uh, solo sportsman is if I wanted if, I, if I'm sneaking up on something it's very difficult for me to paddle up and then switch to my gun I have done it successfully but this allows me to pedal with my feet and I can have that gun in my hand which is legal here and it, you, you want to check your regulations in whatever state or province you're in but here as long as it's not motorized it's, if it's human powered i can do that so i can paddle up to the waterfowl that i'm stalking have the the bead on the waterfowl as i paddle so if it starts to take flight if i'm close enough i can do the deed so i have selected this for waterfowling and I am complementing it as well, depending on where I'm going, with my solo sportsman discovery, also in Marsh Camo. And I am very happy that Old Town has created this camo pattern because it works very well for waterfowling and for hunting. Except I wish this was maybe, maybe a brown instead of orange, <laughs> but that's not a huge deal. Ducks really don't like black, um, so that you know that's not a big deal. And I have a blind I put on this anyway. So we have two of the big waters for for renting out and for for guiding kayak uh, kayak angler guiding, I guess. And then I've got the 136 for myself as well, or when I am guide fishing or whatever. So to kind of wrap up, I would if I was looking at buying a fishing kayak or a hunting kayak i would use this in more open water or uh, for applications where i want to have hands free waterfowl being the very best example of that so 
this gives me options as well for fishing like i said i can mount electronics i can mount for trolling here forward of my seat you can switch out these handles to the navarre handles which gives you another mounting location for electronics or for for fishing stuff and then you've got rod storage again times three and then more capabilities back here to put mounts on and they come like i said the big water comes with the tackle box as well which gives me three of those now because i've got two big waters in the solo actually four because of the uh, autopilot so one of the things i neglected to mention uh in the outside portion of the video uh, with regards to why i selected the big water and it's a big one and it's one that you should really consider when buying uh your fishing kayak hunting kayak recreational kayak is the fact that a pedal drive kayak is a little bit more versatile than for sure a paddle driven kayak itself for the very reason that with the pedal drive system i can put a paddle plug console into the hole with the old town kayaks and i can paddle it or i can leave that pedal drive in retract it and paddle it and have less drag or i can pedal it and paddle it and on top of all of that I can add a motor to my pedal drive kayak. Now, there are a bunch of manufacturers, Bixby, Torquedo are a few, and no, I can't say it properly, but Nokio. Uh, there's, there's, there's a bunch of different manufacturers that make a, an electric trolling style motor drive that attaches at the back of the kayak. Some attach to the existing rudder. Some replace the existing rudder with their own rudder with the pod attached to it the wires run up into the hull and then you install a battery and, and power it that way and old town also makes their own solution in something called the predator double block motor mount it's a 38 inch uh, spread motor mount that is designed for the predator and as i said earlier in the video thus the big water because they are the same hull that attaches to the accessory plates in the stern tank well of the kayak and provides you with essentially a transom style motor mount just off the side of the kayak. And you can install any transom style trolling motor to that plate, which gives you the ultimate versatility. I know guys that we've sold in the past, Predators and Big Waters too, that have done this. Uh, and that, that old town bracket just gives you a very clean looking installation for that motor mount. So there's guys that are, are doing this, and the reason you'd want to do this is you make your kayak even faster. So now you're pedaling, you're using the motor, and you can paddle all at the same time. Three inputs. Uh, so you're essentially doubling your horsepower, which will give you a couple more knots of, of hull speed. Uh, guys are seeing anywhere from seven to nine miles an hour uh, over the water with the, the two, the, the pedal drive and the motor being engaged uh, and this is very important for kayak angling tournaments where where this is allowed using more than one uh, propulsion method the very same that having the fastest bass boat in a bass boat tournament is you get to your location that you've in theory pre-fished previously and know the fish are there it gets you there first so then those guys depending on the rules of your tournament have to give you the space around your boat if you can get in prime location first you have that location so if you're using your kayak for things like that it's just something to seriously consider the uh the sportsman 10 6 the 120 the salty and the big water pdl all give you that capability now the big water is the only one that will accept that uh motor mount because it's made for the predator um, but there are all kinds of other options out there but keep that in mind if you're going open water you want to do fishing tournaments as well uh, like dynamic water plus fishing tournaments uh, and you want to paddle drive big water is your solution for sure so keep that in mind as well and, and add that to your list of things if that's something you're considering that's this boat in a nutshell i selected it for duck hunting uh, we'll do some more videos on on that and why and the benefits and show how it all works and how I use it in the future. So keep an eye out for that. But if you have any questions, give us a shout. Uh, we've sold Old Town products for since 2011. So very familiar with the products. Uh, 
the good and the bad. There's not a lot of bad or I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting my name behind it if there was. So this is the Big Water PDL 132 in a nutshell. So get at us if you've got any questions or if you need clarification on something. But thank you very much for watching. And uh, keep an eye out again. We'll be doing a lot more videos as we get closer to waterfowl season. And right now it's the start of fishing season. It goes all year round, but it's the new fishing season for, for 2023. Uh, I believe tomorrow, today. Today is the first day. So you'll be seeing a lot more content uh, of these guys being used for fishing. The uh, Discovery Solo, the Big Water, and the Autopilot. So keep an eyeball peeled for that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like what you watched, please subscribe to our channel. We're working very hard to make meaningful content like this for you. Also, hit the bell button down in the corner to get live updates as we upload content. If there are paddling or outdoor related subjects you'd like us to cover, please contact us. We would love to cover them for you. And if you're looking for really cool outdoor and paddling related pictures, please check out our Instagram feed and subscribe there too if you like what you see. Thank you very much. Bye.